the New Year Handicap Chase is next up. Two more five furlongs again. And it's a grade three handicap this time. And at the top, we've got Verd Ocean for Darren Thompson. What a deal. Greg Beckwith, Drum Largan, Martin Ligon, Buffalo Commercial, Vinnie Gerard, Die Another Day, Padraig Hogan, Forest Jump, Stu Gray, October Bay for Graham Clutterbuck, Andre the Giant, Matt Cooper, and Yuma One for Vinnie Gerard. Nine this time in, one more than in the last race. But the same trip, and called in and away again, the same 17 fences. And a line of five of them heading towards the first, but it looks like it could be another repeat of the last race with a Darren Thompson horse leading into the first fence. Although, I think it might actually be all five of them together. They all get over it okay. And Verd Ocean is indeed now going to take it up. And Darren Thompson will be hoping that it doesn't suffer the same fate as his last front runner in the last race and managed to get rid of the jockey halfway around and it's Verd Ocean who settled down into the lead then from Buffalo Commercial in second one of two Vinnie Gerrards in this they get over to third and we'll safely over to third and it's Verd Ocean and what a deal disputing the lead then Yuma One he's third on the wide outside the yellow jacket of Dying of the Day for Patrick Hogan right over on the far rail Graham Clutterbuck's October what Hobart Bay and he says there is the Bibti colours. And after that one we've got Drum Largan, Andre the Giant, and finally Forest Jump with a resurgent Stu Gray, who just can't stop winning at the moment. And it's Verd Ocean in the lead. And what a deal second. If they get to the fourth. Which then all over safely. The second of Vinnie Gerrard's two Buffalo commercial was a little bit slow over it. Spent a lot of time in the air. They get over the fifth. Which they're all over okay. With the Verd Ocean continuing to lead from Yuma one second. And what a deal third. And it comes Buffalo Commercial on the outside of Andre the Giant, who's on the outside of October Bay, who's on the outside of Drum Logan. And the back pair are dying of the day and Forest Jump as they get over the next. All over the first six safely then. This next one will be the last next time round. All still on their feet over that one as well. I'm going to swing left handed now, then. Head off up the hill. Out to the furthest point on Presbury Park over the plane fence and the water jump, and then out onto the back stretch with Verd Ocean a length and a half clear of Yuma one in second. And Water Deal third. And October Bay is fourth. Drum Logan's creeping up the inside in fifth. Andre the Giant in the red jacket and then the second of the two shades of green is Buffalo Commercial as they get over that one and head towards the water with Verd Ocean and what a deal first and second and safely over the water good jump over the water on the inside by Yuma One Forest Jump is just dropping off the pace a little bit at the back and there's still well over a mile to go as they take this next ditch and they're all safely over that one with Water Deal jumping it particularly well. That Verd Ocean, the top weight, is the leader. And well, you are one as they get over the next. A mistake there by the Padraig Hogan Horse die another day. And so Buffalo Commercial wasn't thought perfect. But Forest Jump is starting to weave his way through the pack as Yuma One hits the front. So Yuma One then half a length clear as they come into number 12, another big ditch. Drum Logan was slow and Forest Jump didn't jump that time and is out of the race. And the first one to depart with Yuma one in the lead over the next. From Dying of the Day second, then October Bay's moved through into third. The top weight Verd Ocean is coming under a bit of pressure and is dropping back through the pack. Drum Logan is on his outside and also what a deal, another one who's dropping back. So the top weights are struggling as they get over the 14th. And they're all safely over that one. Andre the Giant, the back marker, is about eight minutes off the leader. But the leader is dying of the day from Yuma One and October Bay with three to jump. The yellow jacket in dying of the day will call to the third last in the lead. But Yuma One on his inside comes through to chance. Oh, and there's a fall there. Drum Largan's gone this time. No, Drum Largan's out of it now as well. And it's Yuma One and die another day. Buffalo Commercial. Then comes October Bay. Verd Ocean. What a deal. Suddenly it's wide open. There's about six of them still in with a chance. Andre the Giant, the only one on his feet who's not going to win. And it's die another day. 
in front or got no chance of winning but it's Dine of the Day from Yuma 1 coming down to the second last then Dine of the Day leading by a length to Yuma 1 in second what a deal on the outside jumps it best of all now comes through the challenge a fall of air with Buffalo Commercial but it's Yuma 1 in front Yuma 1 coming down to the final fence with a lead of half a length jumps it slowly much better jump by Dine of the Day who now goes into the lead it's Dine of the Day by about a neck as they come inside the final furlong Dine of the Day from Yuma 1 who's trying to fight back on the inside Dine of the Day from Yuma 1 Dine of the Day is holding on the moment, Yuma One's got nothing left, and Dine of the Day is going to hang on and take it. Up to Morton on Dine of the Day, was it Yuma One second in Verde Ocean Water Vigil, October Bay, and finally Andre the Giant. They were the only ones to finish, and Padre Hogan notches up another winner from the unlucky Yuma One, who battled well, but Dine of the Day takes it for Padre Hogan. Yuma One second for Vinnie Gerard. Verde Ocean, the top weight for Darren Thompson, was third. What deal, what a deal for Craig Beckwith was fourth at October Bay for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth.